Tango 21 test. Tango 21 receiving. Roger, I've just dropped it to 1 watt just in case uh, that was one of the issues you were just reporting over. Yeah, I don't know if that really sounds any better or it, it's just uh, I've turned it up a bit anyway. A um, little bit of buzz on your transmission, but it's probably going to be expected. Yeah, absolutely. That's something else you introduce. So I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to have a quick discuss, and then we'll uh, we'll get going. Yeah, Roger that. Let me know when you're ready. Roger. Okay, so we've got a Midland Allen 199A, which is a C approved AM only radio. So if you watched the previous vision video, I was servicing this, making sure it's spot on. It's a 2009 radio. It's CE approved and that means we can use it in the UK on the CPT band and therefore in AM. So it is, that is what it does. CPT band, AM, full stop. No FM, no UK channels, that's what it does. And the reason that behind this is there's been some um, discussion on my the videos when we've done uh, test 2 AM that uh, kind of that's well that's pretty crummy well AM isn't the range of FM whether you like it or not whether you're looking at it through rose coloured spectacles or you've only heard people on illegal radios with burners that this is the fact and uh, you know in the years of experience I had with AM business radio systems people were very glad to go onto FM business radio systems because it was that little bit more range not a lot but it's because of the FM capture effect so I'm hoping we can cope on CPT band because it's pretty crummy for us here and we are going to get a bit of traffic but we try and get Mr Chippy to change channel if it becomes unusable. So this is doing 3.6 watts on my test set which is about where we often are on newish radios but add another 0.4 in because our test set reads it doesn't read interference etc etc. This is a crystal filtered radio because it's Euro approved it has to have a minimum received specification. So this isn't like your old clonkers. This is it's crystal filtered because it has to be. So we're going to give it a go. We've never done this before, and we've got we've got another one coming, and uh, which is coming from France, uh, slightly different model, but again in Midland. And then we're going to go. We'll temporarily put one in the car. And we'll do all this again. So we've had an AM only test. Then we've got a benchmark against all the multi norms that we go on to use. So I can go 21, Mr. Chippy. I'm ready. So I'm going to turn on. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm just going to plug in my extension squeaker. Roger. There we go. Two, four, six, eight. Your turn to modulate. Isn't that what they say on AM? <laughs> I don't know, I've never used it, apart from uh, 4 metres AM. <laughs> Same here, right. I did used to listen in before CB was legal. I had one of those multi band radios which picked up CB, and uh, you know, you hear all, used to hear all this thing. Anyway, um, we're off. Mm -hmm. We are, and I've passed the house, and we are recording. Excellent, and it sounds absolutely great at this end. Doesn't mean that I do to you. Uh, I've got the volume further around than I normally would have, but uh, then again, a bit less squelch noise, so it doesn't matter too much. Roger. Yeah, it's a different thing anyway, and um, I'm not sure how that well that performs, but it does sound very good at the moment. We've only ever tested them at the five mile point, apart from the CRTS Mini, which worked very well when I did test it. Yep, Roger that. Right, we're coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you the end of the lane, I'm going back to full power. Passing Ancaster service station 143.9, 145.9.
Square wheeled at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, now we're off again. I see. I think it's one situation where I'd like to have a, an amplified speaker in here now. You know, I've, I've got the sex volume all the way to the top nearly, and uh, it's not as loud as the on FM at all. There you go, it's the first time. <laughs> Scratchy Corner, Wilsford, over. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. I'm on the Midwest Allen 1998 and Yep, Roger, that was all received, but with the noises and stuff in the background, it's not as easy to make you out. Exactly, that's the problem.
passing the Grayley's turn over. Roger. Tango 21 for Mr Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Yep, Roger, that was all received apart from on low power. I did turn the squelch right down when you went to low power and I did I did kind of hear you, but uh, it, it's not very legible over. Roger, I heard that as you can't tell what I'm saying, so we're off again. We're on the move again. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, we're now going over Rossby Level Crossing, over. Right, I don't know if you heard me at all, but uh, in case you're interested, petrol's 146.7 and diesel's 141.9, over. Yep, roger that. Ten ten. Roger, got you going over raw speed level crossing. Have you got a petrol price for me over? Yes, I think I've got 141.9, I might be wrong. Anyway, that concludes the test, thank you. 10.10. 10. So, as I expected, that didn't work as well as an, a UK FM set. Um, speech processing was absolutely excellent. So, when we get another one of these, we're going to do exactly the same test again. And if we do change the car set to the Thunderpole 3000, which is on the cards judging by the voting we've had on that. We're not going to do it until the other AM sets arrive, so we've got an absolutely equal test. Then we're going to do dedicated AM set to dedicated AM set, so we actually can, can see. But there you go, I thought you'd find that interesting. One of the few CE-approved AM-only sets that you can use in the UK. Thank you for watching.